Stay tuned for details on this style. Okay, so as you can see, my hair is in desperate need of some TLC. Oh, um, okay guys, I haven't done it Ugh, in a couple days and it's dry. It's brittle. It just, it really needs some deep conditioning, a co-wash, and to be styled. And, uh, yeah, that's what needs to happen. What I am deep conditioning with is the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. I'm going to mix this in with the extra virgin olive oil, like it says. I just want to do a close-up on my hair right now. As you can see, I have color in my hair. My hair is pretty dry. Um, I can say since cutting my hair that I've been a little lazy, but um, <laughs> it's okay. So I'm gonna get it right with this tutorial. There is my extra virgin olive oil. Um, you can get that from anywhere, of course, grocery stores, wherever. I'm gonna be adding that in with the deep treatment mask. One thing you want to do with a deep treatment mask is that you want to make sure you are penetrating the hair. Um, my hair is thirsty. I have very dense hair. I have very coarse hair. So it takes a lot more product for my hair to be fully covered, for my hair to be fully coated, and for my hair to be fully conditioned. It just takes a lot. So make sure that you are putting it all over, separating the hair. That's one thing that I noticed that I have to do really well because of the simple fact that my hair is thick. So I need to make sure that I am getting inside of it every which way that I can. And sometimes that takes a little longer than others, but it's all good because it turns out really well. As you can see, that mask is everywhere. <laughs> that mask is really in there. And I'm just going to part it and, you know, make sure that I'm getting in the nooks and crannies of my hair. I definitely want to make sure that, you know, it is all coated. It is all covered, separated. Make sure you're getting in there. Because a lot of times with my hair texture and my hair density and the coarseness of my hair, you can think that you've gotten everything, but you can have spots that are untouched with products so you definitely want to make sure that you're getting inside of the hair just separate it make sure it's good if you get your scalp get your scalp I usually don't but get close I get fairly fairly close to my scalp so this is just showing you that I'm going back through and just making sure that everything is okie doke Okay, so right now I am adding my EVOO. As you can see, it's all over my hands. Um, starting in the front, that's just what I do. I always start in the front. There's no rhyme or reason as to why. That's just my thing. I like to start in the front. I want to make sure that this goes all over. So I'm just going to put that all over. Now, here's the fun part. I usually detangle with a Denman brush or my tangle teaser, but I decided to just do a bit of finger detangling. So as you can see, I'm just going through each strand delicately and softly. I'm not pulling, I'm not tugging, I'm not really running my fingers until I know that the strands are completely detangled and then I run my fingers across. You want to make sure that you're detangling well, but in a low manipulative manner. So, um, yeah, just be gentle with your hair. Make sure you're getting it good, but definitely, definitely, definitely you want to be gentle with it. And this detangling portion also helps to make sure that the deep treatment mask and the olive oil are perfectly coated on each strand of hair. It also helps to kind of make sure that your deep conditioner is going to sit in there really well and get in every nick and cranny. One thing that I do after this deep conditioner is I'm going to co-wash my hair. So what I hadn't told you guys is that this is my favorite product that I use in Okito Creation. 
This is their Detangle and Leave-In Conditioner in Peppermint Tea Tree. Now, these are my staple products, Nail Keto Creations. Shea Moisture is definitely my backup, so it's good that I had that. Right here, my hair is detangled. It's cleansed, it's clean, but I also like to add the Detangle and Leave-In Conditioner as my leave-in as well as using it as a co-wash. As you can see, it's thick, it's got a great consistency, it smells delicious, and for my hair type and texture and density, it loves it, it absolutely adores it. Eats it up, um, it makes my hair soft, it makes it manageable, and it makes it ready for a blow dry. Okay, my hair is all blown out. Um, right now, I'm going to show you another product from Neo Keto Creations. This is the Trinity Hair, Scalp, and Body Oil. Oh, this is amazing. There are three different types of oils in there. That's why it's called Trinity. I'm going to put this all over. Right now, I am simply sectioning off my hair for the style. What I do is kind of like a crown sort of shape, and then I kind of split that in half. I split it in half because of the way I want my flat twists to fall. So the front flat twists are going to fall of course in the front and the back flat twists are going to fall in the back so it's kind of like imagine you having a part in the middle of your hair and all of it's going down it's going down in the front down on the sides and down on the back the product that i'm using is the shea moisture's curl enhancing smoothie um i really like to focus on the ends of my hair when i put it in but i definitely do get all over and I am just simply flat twisting on down. Just go on down with the flat twist. Um, I'm using the, just gonna tell you this in advance, I'm using the peach colored rods. I found that with the size that I like to do the flat twist with this style, they work really, really well. It could have something to do with my hair texture, um, but I just really, really enjoy using the peach kind of pinky colored rods. And it's the shorter ones. Because my hair is short, I don't need them super long or they'll kind of get in the way what you're going to do is go down in the front go down on the sides and go down in the back there's your finished twist um actually i ended up doing chunky flat twists on the side so yeah here we go finished product you guys thanks so much for watching make sure you use your pick to pick out your hair um yeah i've got some spots i need to touch clearly and um yeah that's kind of it um i noticed that my hair is a little tighter i kind of roll the rods a little more tight than i usually do but that's okay and this is actually a couple days later that style will be flat twist and a twist stayed in my hair for a couple days so um but usually it's a it's a little more loose and everything like that but yeah that's the gist of what happens with my hair so you guys um i want to thank you for watching and tune in for more you throw some rods in your hair at night and you don't know how they're going to turn out and you just put them right here. The back is done with my...